to another video. Today we're gonna have a close look at the arpeggio section from a song called Andante by Engwe Mamstein. This one is quite a challenging lesson for me to do because I really had to listen so many times to the whole section to kind of get an idea what he's really doing. Because the live version with the Japanese orchestra and the studio version, they kind of differ from each other, so he's not playing the exact same pattern. My advice for you is after you watch this lesson and after you've learned the section, just go to the live performance and compare and then you see by yourself that there is quite a little bit of difference. Anyway, I hope I could get as close as possible with this lesson. It's not easy, but it should be working for you guys out there, I'm pretty sure. So thanks a lot for checking in and see you next time. Alright, so we're in E flat tuning, so tuning guitar half step down. Now for the pattern, it sounds actually like this. So I'm skipping this note here. So I'm starting on 10 on the high E, doing a pull off to 7. 7 on the B, 7 on the G. Go back to 7 on the B and 10 on the high E. And then I'm, I'm ending here a down stroke and then I'm doing another up stroke to start the next arpeggio. So I'm starting here with 9 on the high E to pull off to 6, 7 on the B and 6 on the G. Go back to 7 on the B and 9 on the high E. Okay, so those are the first two arpeggio. And then again, just repeat this whole part one more time. So always those groups of two arpeggios, just play them twice a time, okay? Then comes the next section of a group of two arpeggios. Alright, so starting here with this uh, major shape, 12 on the high, you pull off to 9, uh, 10 on the B, 9 on the G, back to 10 on the B, and 12 on the high E. And then we're gonna play this major arpeggio. And you see, here's the first time where I'm just gonna play a very standard, simple three string arpeggio. So I'm not gonna skip this note here, I'm just playing a regular one. So you need to remember that this shape actually just goes with another pattern, okay? Keep that in mind. So starting on 14 on the high E, pull off back to 10, 10 on the B and, th and 11 on the G. Go back to 10 on the B and 10 on the high E. Okay, then um, I'm gonna repeat again, so twice a time, okay? So... And then comes the next group of two arpeggios. Okay, so another major shape here. Starting on 14 on the high A, pull off to 11. 12 on the B and 11 on the G. And then uh, 12 on the B and again the other pattern, like we had all the other arpeggios, you know, so 14 on the high E. Okay, and then comes the minor arpeggio. So 15 on the high E, pull off to 12. 12 on the B, 12 on the G, go back to 12 on the B. And 15 on the high E. Okay, then you repeat those group of two again twice a time, so. And then comes diminished arpeggio. Okay, 16 on the high, pull off to 13. 15 on the B and 16 on the G. Go back to 15 on the B and 16 on the high A. Okay, and then comes the first ending. Uh, looks like this. Alright, so basically we're gonna actually change the pattern here again. So we're just playing straightforward our three string arpeggios. Starting with this shape. Okay, so 19 on the high, you pull off back to 14. 14 on the B. And 16 on the G. Go back to 14 on the B and 14 on the high A. 
repeat it and then I'm gonna actually lower from 19 to 18 and here on the G from 16 to 15 so then go to 19 on the high A and do vibrator here all right then the whole section starts again and it's all identical except the ending because we're gonna start with the same ending but then actually play the same pattern but two steps lower so it looks like this you see so I play this arpeggio here and then I'm gonna start uh, the final ending you know just two steps down okay it looks like this um, 16 on the high E pull off to 12 12 on the B and 13 on the G go back to 12 on the B and 12 on the high E okay and then I'm gonna play this okay so we already have this two steps up but I'm gonna show you anyway so 17 on the high E pull off to 12 12 on the B and 14 on the G 12 to the B and 12 on the high E so repeat it and then just lower again from 17 to 16 and from on the G from 14 to 13 so all right and that's the whole section so at the ending he's gonna play this okay so pretty simple it's basically just diminished arpeggio played very slow so starting with the with the low E open and then on the A I'm gonna play 18 then 16 and 19 on the D 17 and 20 on the G um, 19 on the B 17 and 20 on a high E and 21 full step bend and just kind of do vibrato and try to get a good feeling for that one yeah that's the whole section thanks a lot for checking in I hope you like this video and see you next time